Well, this is our 1922 Will St. Clair, and we just finished a project on this. We had manifold problems before, which we've got temporarily fixed. Now, the, the wheels had a lot of firsts. Like I said before, they were the first to use the overhead cam V8 engine. They were the first to use molybdenum steel throughout the car. Another thing they were the first to do was a high and low beam headlights, a backup light that came on automatically. And as far as I can tell, they were the first to have a real fan clutch on the engine, worked off oil pressure. So uh, the fan didn't run all of the time. And as the engine got warmer, the fan worked more. <clears throat> but uh, absolute stunning car for its time, very well constructed. And at that time, they rated it 80 horse, and that was pretty good horsepower for that time. Now, one of the problems that we had with this car originally when it came to us was it had water in the oil in the crankcase. And part of the problem was this intake manifold here. Carburetor mounts down here, and so the intake portion of it comes up through here and comes out and goes down through the center here. Well, metallurgy back then wasn't what it is today. So we have water coming in here on each side, going through here, going around the intake tube, and then going down into the head cylinder block here. Now, it corrodes in between those two because you're going from aluminum to cast iron, and then to top that off, they put a steel sleeve in here, and it just really does cause corrosive problems. So we're going to have to uh, cast a new manifold when we get a chance and I'm in the process now of trying to get uh, a sacrificial manifold so that we can make a new casting and when we do we'll probably make a half a dozen of them so that anybody else that has one of these V8 uh, wheels will be able to replace theirs because if it's not leaking it will. Yeah, yeah they, they only go down so far because of the they go clear down the, where the fender goes in. And of course, body by Fisher, um, designed for four people. Seats tilt forward for access both sides. Vacuum windshield wiper. Modern rear view mirror with beveled glass. Next and uh, show us the air conditioning. Oh, yeah, we do have uh, air conditioning here, which we didn't need to use today, which will go out this way oh, interesting. as well. Okay. And it will also come back in here. Now this is designed here so that the wind will come in here and then come down through here to cool your legs off. So it's kind of a pretty unique setup they have on, on the windshield on this one. Yep. Yeah, I know. 